Hey, it's Ken Gagney with the YouTube channel GameBits here today to show you how to combine this with this. It's wicked easy, as they say here in Boston. Doesn't require any adapter whatsoever. Everything you need is in the box. The controller that came with the PS4, just use the USB cable that came with it. Put it right in the back there. And then plug the other end into the USB port on the Mac. Now let's make sure that registers. To do that, I'm going to use a little app called Joystick Show, available for about a buck from the Mac App Store. It shows you what controllers are plugged into the system and what buttons it's registering. So it immediately detects here that we have a Joystick 1 plugged in with 13 buttons on it. And you can test each one individually. So you have square, triangle, circle, X, R1, R2, L1, L2, L3, R3. Share, options, up, down, left, right, left analog stick, right analog stick, touchpad, and the PlayStation button. That's 13 buttons and two joysticks. Awesome. But that was so easy, let's make it a little bit harder by doing it wirelessly and connecting via Bluetooth. So for this, we go into our system preferences, check Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on, and then you have to pair it with your controller. And that requires that you push the PlayStation button and the share button until the light bar starts blinking. Now let me show you how to do it the wrong way. If you just hold down the PlayStation button, you're gonna get a blink like that. If that's what you're seeing, you're doing it wrong. The blink you want to be seeing takes a long time to start and then it looks like that, much more rapid. At that point, you can see that it shows up on the Mac as wireless controller. Go ahead and click pair. And now it's paired. And Joystick Show will not register this joystick wirelessly, but you can see from this game of Breaker's Yard that it is working just fine. When you're done playing the game, be sure to hold down the PlayStation button and turn off your controller. Otherwise, next time you'll encounter a dead battery. So that is how you use a PlayStation 4 controller to play your games on the Mac. Thanks for watching.